project was initiated, and that's also very important for, for us, it was initiated by South African brickmakers. It was not the Swiss guys who came to say, there is a better technology than what you have in South Africa. It's actually South African brickmakers who went out to search what technologies would be there to uh, produce more energy efficiently uh, clay bricks. We tried to apply um, two very distinct approaches. Uh, a market system approach focusing specifically on the clay brick sector. The second approach was, this is very deliberate, a multi-stakeholder engagement to create understanding and awareness beyond the immediate uh, market of uh, the uh, brick sector. We the company that that I'm a part of is called Engineers People's Knowledge, and we were brought on board by Swiss Contact and the EECB team to help them generate a capitalization of experience product. What this means is how do they take the learnings and the insights that have taken place over these very many years and package them in a way that future users of um, future users involved in projects in the development space in a market systems approach can use and benefit from. Our role is to advise members on uh, related legislation, technology, things like the carbon tax and the carbon trust um, and in general good practice uh, to improve uh, their, their businesses. Um, the life cycle assessment is our biggest project to date, uh, four years. It, two years in planning, four years in, in execution, in association with the ECB, and we're very grateful to them for, for their assistance in completing it. Uh, here we have a stand uh, jointly between the Carbon Trust and COVA Advisory, um, because we've done uh, a couple of interesting projects um, for, the, uh, uh, for the Clay Brick project. Um, the first is um, we did a, a project looking at um, what are the most energy efficient interventions that can take place uh, to, uh, to make clay, clay bricks more, more efficient. And then the second one is, following on from that, is taking a look at those interventions, trying to understand how those could be financed here in, in the South African context. Studies were conducted that showed that ECB contributed to reduce 15% of CO2 and emissions over this period of time. The project results, some of them have been presented already, speak for themselves. Technology changes reduce costs, they improve product quality and minimize waste, and all in the end contributing to increased competitiveness. This also means that a cleaner product does not need to be more expensive necessarily. Uh, the project results are very, very impressive. The world's energy efficient labor can become a part of the daily vocabulary on the Clay Brick Association over the past few years. Those words, those words have different meanings depending on who you are or who you ask. To us brick makers, energy efficient Clay Brick is a promise. It is a commitment of each and every member to make good use of the wealth of research done by the team here to improve the energy efficiency of their manufacturing processes. It means we use less coal and fossil fuel to buy our ceramic products, helping to reduce our carbon footprint and emission for the good of all South African communities. Personally, it has been a hugely rewarding journey. Thank you to all of you. Some of you that I've worked with for the last 33 years. And actually to stand now in front of you and to celebrate together with you uh, the, 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 this project that is finished as a project but of course will live on uh, because uh, you know the findings were so good it, it's really a fabulous moment